After I had completed my discipleship series of the six books, I wanted to see this as a start to finish experience for someone who is a new convert. When I was in China, and China, a congregation over there has taken this on and they have all six books over there in their translation. And that congregation, the pastor gives a testimony in the book that I was telling you about, Discover Discipleship, and how it had really impacted her congregation. Well, the last time I was there, they were, because the congregation, the people were so empowered by what they were learning, they were bringing all kinds of people into the services, and they're going forward getting saved. And then they're giving them um, a little pamphlet or something, and then they, they leave. The problem that I saw with that is, first of all, because of the government overseeing and, and the government eye watching, they were a church that was, you know, obviously working underground. And so it's not like they could post things online and post the service or anything like that. So to keep up with these folks that just gave their life to the Lord was a challenge. And I was concerned about being able to put something in their hand right there at the moment of their conversion so that they actually knew what they were signing on to, what they were uh, committing their life to. So while I was there, the this was my third time in China with this congregation, I realized um, because they were cracking down more on, on churches, they had to keep me more low key. And so I wasn't speaking at the congregation as often as I had the previous two visits there. So what happened is I had a lot of downtime and the Lord put this on my heart to write this book. And what that is, it's called, Now That You're Saved, What Happens Next? I wrote this with that church in mind, with that culture in mind, because there is uh, cultures all over the world that worship other gods. And um, so not only that, but they do need to know, now that you're a Christian, you're coming into a whole different kingdom culture. Jesus came to bring a new kingdom culture to us. And when he talks about, you know, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, he's coming from a whole different kingdom, bringing that into earth. That's why he trained the disciples for three years in kingdom thinking. So I began to think as a pastor, what would be the most important tools or um, instructions to give the concepts, subject matter, and so on, that I would want to make sure a new convert, if I was never to see them again, would need to know. So that's what I began to do. And I wrote this book while I was over there during a period of 15 days and came back and I, um, you know, of course, edited it and, and brought it around into production. And I was very excited about this because this is the first of three foundations that you need, obviously. Um, Peter talked about repent, be water baptized, and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So the three foundations is salvation and through repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The second was water baptism. And the third was the gift of the Holy Ghost, which is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So this is a foundation like a tripod of a camera that you sit on. And you need all three legs for that camera, that tripod, to remain standing. And uh, that's what we need for a good, solid, firm foundation. So after I wrote this, now that you're saved, what happens next? I do mention in here that you need to also be water baptized and baptized in the Holy Spirit. So then I wrote this book, Baptized in Water, and it's titled, A Guide to Understanding the Importance of Water Baptism. How many of you can define or describe why water baptism is so important? Because there's a lot of dynamics that are taking place. And there are only two sacraments that the early church presents, and it's in the New Testament. And one is the Lord's Supper, and the other is water baptism. So this tells you why that's so important. And then the third, of course, which empowers you to be witnesses of God and to enter into being used in the gifts of the Spirit, is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. 
And so this book is called ba Baptized with Fire, A Guide to Understanding the Baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I was baptized in water immediately upon the same day that I was saved. But nine months later, I didn't know anything about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I give my testimony in this book of how that came about. And it was spontaneous. It was without any kind of theology, any kind of teaching. I just stumbled upon discovering that some of my other brothers and sisters that were older than me had experienced them themselves, but they weren't telling anybody about it. So I stumbled upon it. And because I didn't have anybody be able to lead me into it, I have led hundreds upon hundreds, over a thousand people probably into this experience. And I wanted them to, so I wanted to write this book so that they could lead someone into the baptism of the Holy Spirit who has led someone into conversion. So these are tools that are uh, precedences before the whole discipleship system and process. So you win someone to the Lord, then you take them through this book. It's about an hour read, have them underline, and then come back to you and let's talk about it. What stood out to you? Are there any questions? And at the back then, I have them, you can have them pray the prayer of salvation. And one beautiful thing about this is some of our uh, guys that are in discipleship, um, their own, have their own group brought in their best friends growing up from childhood. And when they had them first read this, they realized that they had gone to church, but had never been, back, never been really converted, never really been saved. And this pointed that out so that they are able then to pray the prayer of what they've read through this book. And then they can take them into water baptism, have them read this after they've got this under their belt, then have them read the importance of this, and then you go take them to some water that they can, you can take them fully emerge, immerse them into because that's how they did it in, in uh, the book of Acts. And then they come away understanding the importance of this. And I have in the back then the model for what you actually speak over them when you water baptize, water baptize them. And then finally, you can have them read this. They can now understand it on, as, on a scripture level. And it also helps you to be able to lead them into that experience. And I tell you, there's nothing more exciting than to lead someone to the Lord and then have them a, a solid foundation through now that you're saved and then lead them into the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you start seeing them experiencing that, that dynamic powering, uh, empowering of, of the Holy Spirit in their life. And it's, it's so wonderful. So this is where I would start with a new convert. I would take them through these books individually, one at a time, make sure they understand it. And then I would take them into Discover Discipleship and then on into the next book. So that by the time they've done all three years, they will have come to a place of being prepared if God's call in their life is to pastor a church, they'll be able to pastor a church. You have discipled them in such a strong way and I give them all the tools through this whole process of what to know, how to study the Bible, the tools and how to study the Bible. And I wish I'd have had this. But the thing is, is that you can grow so fast and what a blessing to take a person from being a new convert to the, the level and the status of being a spiritual leader, whether it's pastoring a church or an elder in the church or in whatever capacity God has them in the marketplace, they will be spiritual leaders and leading others into discipleship as well. So that's why I wrote these three books. It's a great way to start, especially if it's a new convert, and you will be required to read these in book one. Uh, for the very purpose of knowing that these are available, you know what it's, you've read what's in them, and then they will be there ready for you to have as a tool when you come across someone that you lead to Christ. Hallelujah.